just plug in your earpiece or airpods or whatever device bluetooth device you own just plug it in put in your favorite album now the first thing that you should do to self-care without spending your ego is hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is beloved Osita Drew, and i'm a makeup artist and a youtuber based in Ilori. if this is your first time seeing my face welcome 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 and if this isn't your first time welcome back to my channel so i am back with another video and today we're going to be talking about something that is very important to us very important to our body our spirit our soul i'm just exaggerating but something that is very important and we're going to be talking about self-care now this is something that is very underrated especially at this part of the country when people feel sad they just tell themselves keep pushing keep pushing and it really shouldn't be that way you're supposed to care for yourself like you would care for things that are important to you that you buy or people around you you should care for yourself and we're going to be talking about that so there's something that everybody does is that when you feel burned out when you're feeling like like you just really don't want to do anything you just want it's, you just feel like you just want to rest and chill you don't want to stress yourself that is to tell you that you need a break and you need to take time to take care of yourself but most time people do not do that they forget that their body is like their body is also a living thing and it deserves to rest it's just like when you are overusing machines that you buy obviously they are going to knock they are going to burn out they are going to break out and your body is the same thing if you don't take care of yourself properly you are going to experience this sort of symptoms so when you feel tired when you feel weak when you feel like you do not want to push further you do not feel like pushing further you're not supposed to give up words of the wise by the way you're not supposed to give up you're supposed to take a break chill be strategized like rejuvenate so i'm going to be giving you seven ways you can self-care without spending money because another thing self-care is really associated with is spending money self-care shopping take yourself out go to eat but that really isn't all that self-care is you can literally self-care and really not spend a dime you can spend a dime but you can also not spend a dime if you're on a budget like me so anyway let's get right into the video so the first thing i would recommend if you want to self-care is to take walks so as weird as this may sound, taking walks have like a great impact on your body. Just take a walk, mostly in the evening, evening or towards the night. I would not recommend in the middle of the night because we all know the situation of everything now. But taking walks towards the evening when there is breeze around trees will do your body a lot of good. It would clear your head, clear your mind. Because that is something that nature does to us, like being around nature, things that God has created for us. Like it has a way of making you feel good, calming your body. By the time you are done and you are back from that walk, you will just find out that, oh, I feel better. Because it's something that I personally know. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I feel confused, I always take walks. And by the time I'm back, I always, always feel better. Like I always feel lighter. It's just like... Sometimes when you take this sort of walk around this around nature, you even begin to get ideas that you don't even know existed in your brain. But if you're really looking to self-care, don't even think about anything as you're walking. Just plug in your earpiece or AirPods or whatever device, Bluetooth device you own. Just plug it in. Put in your favorite album, whatever it is listen to it as you're walking and it will just calm you down because music also has a way of making you feel better and has a way of calming you down so that's the first thing i would recommend for you to self-care without spending money now the second thing is that cleaning and i know many people are gonna drag me because they're going to be like i still want to take care of myself why are you telling me to walk why are you telling me to clean but yeah cleaning your living area i don't say you should go and clean for another person just where you are staying has a way of making you 
calm down and making you feel better the body our body and our mind they communicate with each other and the body also communicates with the environment which is something that everybody already probably knows so when your body discovers oh i mean a even if your environment is not very dirty but it's still dirty your body transfers this message to your mind oh let's react how we are seeing this place looking since she's staying um in a dirty place maybe she feels dirty now as weird as this may sound this is how it really works and when you do clear your living area and you make it look clean your body also does the same thing it transfers this same message to your mind telling your mind that oh she feels clean she feels good and you just discover that you will feel good and you will feel clean because you have cleared your living area it's just something that will make you feel better because it feels like you have accomplished something declutter your area those clothes that you've been looking to give out arrange them and give them out those shoes you've been thinking of cleaning clean them and give them out when you accomplish a task whether it be cleaning cooking or something that you just want to do when you accomplish those sort of things it makes you feel good and when you feel good you're taking care of yourself so yeah that's the second thing i would recommend to do now the third thing is that you should exercise or meditate exercise or meditate exercise makes the mind happy when you exercise ex I don't when you exercise it makes your body feel good and besides exercising when you're exercising you're really doing it for you number one if you are heavy let's say you have eaten too much and you are heavy you automatically feel lighter exercise is just a way of taking care of your body which is part of self-care the way and whenever you exercise it makes you feel happy that no cap i don't know how it works but exercising will always make you happy it might be difficult when you are doing the task because even myself i don't like to exercise when you exercise you just discover that you feel better you feel whole you feel lighter like it's just something that is what you will say it is what it is but that is what it is because you are rejuvenating your body you're keeping your body strong you're keeping your soul strong so whatever you're doing don't skip morning exercise when you feel anxious exercise you probably feel less anxious when you're done when you feel sad exercise it will take your mind off the problem when you feel overwhelmed exercise it will give you something to focus on which is what you are doing at the moment so always add exercise to your self-care routine because it would make you feel better now the first thing that you should do to self-care without spending your ego is taking a day off and doing nothing and though this is not something that everybody could afford because some people literally work from Monday to Sunday but if you can afford it if you can afford to take a day off take a day off don't say I need that money because sometimes your body will always find a way to take what you have not given it if you're overworking yourself and you're not giving your body rest it will look for a way and collect that rest from you so always take when as part of your self-care you should take a day off and literally do nothing when i mean do nothing i don't mean that you should just be sitting down and be looking into the air and literally doing nothing but don't do anything that will necessarily stress you out if what stresses you out normally is using your brain and thinking of something do not think of that thing and although you cannot control your mind you cannot control what you think about but make a conscious effort to not think about it you can decide to netflix and chill you can decide to sleep you can decide to watch movies you can decide to be eating but just don't do what you would normally do for work mostly don't do what you would do when you are supposed to be working so just take a break a day break and chill your body needs that rest you are not a log of wood you are not your bed you are not your if i can never say you're not your phone because even your phone if you use your phone every day eventually it would it would run down you're not furniture you are a human being your body has feelings your body needs rest so you should take this rest whenever need be and just rest and do nothing
don't over stress yourself don't over stress your brain okay be a pretty lady be a pretty man that you can decide to do your skincare like properly do your skincare do skin scrub bath with hot water take a very cold shower pour it from your hair to your toe stay inside um what they call this thing stay inside bathtub if you don't have bathtub use shower if you don't have shower pour water from your head to toe just do something that would make you feel better so yeah that's the next thing i recommend and now moving on to the next which is read a book now reading a book is a mind work to be honest but it's also a way of taking care of yourself read a book it could be a novel it could be an inspirational book it could be a spiritual book it could be a motivational book just read a book reading a book is also part of self-care because apart from the fact that you are just you're reading it's also adding to you to be honest when you read no matter how you always learn something either you learn a new word you see something that you don't know to be honest, I'm not much of a reader, but I try to read once in a while. And when I read, I always, always learn something new. If you check my phone gallery, any day I read, you always see like a screenshot or two or three that I, from the things I'm reading, because I feel like this thing has impacted me and I should really like jot it down. So it's a way of taking care of yourself. You're feeding yourself information. You're taking care of yourself. You're feeding your mind. So when they say self-care, they don't mean just self-care and take care of your body. You're also supposed to take care of your brain, take care of your mind, take care of your soul if you can. So yeah, reading a book also involves reading the Bible, studying the Bible, studying the Word of God. There are a lot of things you can learn when you read the Bible, when you read the Word of God. There are a lot of insights you can get. So when you are feeling anxious, read the Bible. It will make you feel better. There's for every feeling that you are feeling, there's a place in the Bible that will make you feel better. So ensure that you also do that and take care of yourself, take care of your mind. So yeah, that's the next thing. And now moving on to the next, I would say playing with kids. Now, kids are very stressful. I would not lie to you because sometimes they can be a handful. But then playing with kids will also make you feel better. When God said kids should come, I don't want to turn this into a prayer session. <laughs> but when God said, let kids come unto him, he knew why he was saying that. Kids would make you feel happy. They will stress you. That's why you see mothers. That's why you see women. They will give birth to one and through all the pains that they go through during labor, you will find out that they will still come and have second one. They will still come and have third one. There's this joy that kids would bring to you that your parents cannot bring to you. Your, your um, spouse cannot bring to you. Your boyfriend cannot bring to you. I would say the only person that would probably bring it to you is maybe God. But then there's just this joy that comes from them. You will literally offend a kid now and then you come to this kid the next minute and the kid has, and the child, I keep forgetting kid is not, kid is not for human beings sorry you offend a child this minute and you come to the child the next minute and the child is no longer keeping malice with you so children have a way of making you feel better playing with them when you are playing with children you would play like a child like when you find out that it's like you're going back to your 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 childhood you would feel lighter you would play like a baby when they are doing temper tantrum, yourself you will join them when they are doing any type of play they are doing you join them and you will feel so happy because they would bring this happiness to you so if you have kids around you and you just feel like oh let me take a day off to recharge you should find an hour or two to play with kids as this would make you feel better now we're moving on to the last thing you should do to self-care after this last thing, I'll give you one bonus, one very important bonus that I did not add in the list. Well, the last thing you should do to self-care is pray. Now, prayer is very important. Prayer is the key. Call me spiritual or whatever, but it is what it is. 
Another thing I would not lie about is that I pray every day or I pray every time. But whenever I feel too overwhelmed and literally, because I'm honestly somebody that I feel like I have to see something to be able to believe in it. Or I feel like I have, like I need proof of whatever you are telling me. If you tell me tomorrow is going to be better, why, where's the proof that tomorrow is, be- is going to be better? If you tell me you're, I'm going to bring you 500 million next year, okay, how are you going to do it? I always need proof. And so sometimes going to pray is always hard for me because I'm like, how do I know there's somebody answering my prayer? But then praying has a way of making you feel better. Whenever I feel overwhelmed and I feel like there's no way of me answering this by myself, I do not have any way. Like there are no answers here on earth. I eventually go to God, which I would not say is what you should do. You should also always go to God in every situation. But then I always go to pray at that time. And when I pray, I feel better. I don't pray um, deep prayers like, oh my God, answer my prayer, fight all my enemies. I don't mean that. I mean literally talking to God, telling him, God, I know you are there. I feel really overwhelmed. I don't know what is happening. I pray that you bring peace onto my soul. Doing something as simple as that would surprisingly make you feel better. Now, another thing that is weird and it is, spending money but not spending money is adding to cart add something to cart anything just go um window shopping when i when i say go window shopping i don't mean you should go to online vendor that sells we go and tell her you want to buy wig when you know you don't have money that's not what i mean by window shopping you can just go to your favorite skincare brand you can go to fancy skin and maybe add to cart you can buy these things later but then adding to cart is also a way of self-care knowing that oh i'm getting these things for my body for myself is a way of making you feel better but it's just a bonus and another thing that will probably make you feel better is also a way of self-care is eating good food whatever it is that is your comfort food if you know what it is eat it me now i already know that my comfort food is gary so whenever I feel sad, I literally drink Gary, as weird as it may sound. Gary, sugar, milk, peak milk, thin. It has to be thin with cold water. As weird as it is, that is my comfort food. And whenever I eat it, I feel better. So if you know what your comfort food is, at that moment, just try and eat it and make yourself feel better. If it is pepper soup, eat pepper soup. If it's amala, eat amala and a way do and stew. If it is, um, what other food is it? Ice cream take ice cream. I'm not saying you should do it over the top and continue eating for five days but at that moment just do it to make yourself feel good so yeah that is it I hope this video was helpful to you in any way so yeah if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are new and turn on your post notifications to get notified when I post a new video like this video too. Bye and see you in my next video.